mm, 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 mm. are ruining people's lives. But for chat, mm. who remembers the TikTok dentists that were fake dentists that were giving people fake veneers for like two hundred dollars, like sawing their teeth, um, doing all the work like a professional dentist or orthodontist should do? This is some of their stories and other fake dentists. These TikTok dentists are ruining people's lives, but for some reason, that's not stopping people from lining up down the block and just letting these people and pacing for two more. Let my fucking go, girl. Thank you so much. Real on their teeth because hey, I guess we have a massive. You're so motherfucking sweet. Thank you so much. Country. Because four years ago on TikTok, That's the only killer. dental advice we saw were those teenagers filing away their teeth. I'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they are not perfect. I guess that was for the what look. we did actually cover the 560. Yes, let me put that up now before I forget. Thank you so motherfucking much, pacing. This is about a billion years ago as I'm now a dinosaur in the commentary space, but back then, at least the general consensus on TikTok Love you was guys. never take any dental advice from anyone on that platform. I guess at that time, the only people doing it were teenagers who didn't know better. But unfortunately, only four years later, we have this wave of TikTok veneer texts, which isn't even a real term, That's but they're scary, literally job. not dentists. They gain followings on TikTok, shilling absolute garbage veneer procedures for- Imagine getting veneers just from like some random TikToker who watched like a YouTube video and is like charging you like, eight hundred dollars when veneers are normally like five ten k like one row that charge you five eight hundred dollars for a full set and like they got like their veneers from like taiwan for like 30 bucks anywhere from one thousand to eight thousand dollars and while that sounds like a lot of money if you've ever gotten real veneers especially here in the u.s you would know that sounds a little bit too good to be true and you would be right to think so because multiple clients of these TikTok veneer techs have almost either passed away due to these procedures or passed completely away. lost their teeth. That's and insane. this has completely altered their lives as they know it. I previously made a video on this topic where we covered the influencer by name of Winter who had her jaw movement completely destroyed by one of these veneer techs. And the plot has thickened yeah, as a lot more serious. stories are coming out about other people's experiences with these veneer techs. Inside Edition recently ran a story on a woman who had her entire life ruined by a veneer tech. And we gotta check that out because it is just wild. This woman says a so-called veneer technician offered an amazing deal for the smile of her dreams. I was gullible at the time, I was excited. She says for $3,500, this woman known online as the veneer fairy performed the procedure. She That's permanently scary. glued veneer caps over her existing teeth. I see the veneer fairy. Yeah, teeth glistening. Who did that? <laughs> but just one hour later, I was crying, you know, in tears. My mouth was on fire. It felt like a thousand ants. Damn. One single hour is how long they lasted. Here's a screenshot of her deleted page. And as you can see, her pricing is on the bottom left there. $1,500 sounds cheap for veneers until you realize they'll last for an hour. Yikes. That's but crazy. are you getting constant spam calls? Well, if so, you might have a lot of unwanted information about yourself on That's the internet. That's so dangerous. And to get rid of that, you need to combat telemark, tell them, more money comes request. And another wild spam add... all those requests. Dozy for multiple times a day have vanished. That's also sadly just the tip of the iceberg for what data collectors Collect the crazier stuff would be your to support the channel slash tozy by clicking the link right. As the veneer fairy tried to pull out the veneers, but they wouldn't budge. So the patient, Special Overton, says she took matters oh my into her God. own hands. I knew it wasn't something that I was gonna keep in my mouth. I took my hand and I yanked them as hard as I could. I just closed my eyes and I proud them out. I didn't know if I pulled my teeth out, but I know I wanted some type of relief. Go to a hospital or a real dentist. Yeah, Yanking that's your insane. Teeth out of your mouth? What? That's pretty nuts. Nice. Yeah. Let me rephrase yeah, my previous good. statement. $1,500 sounds cheap until you realize it'll be just. so painful that you will physically rip your teeth out within an hour of having them. How are these people not in jail? But after doing a lot of research on this That's topic, insane. I'm seeing a lot of people say a lot of these veneer techs are actually getting these veneer inserts off of Timu. So I did some searching around veneer on Timu and I sure did find some man-made horrors.
Bro, they're selling these things on Timu. You can get them for like 30 cents then. The alarming thing is 48,000 of these sets have been sold for under $20. So now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Oh my these God. These tanks can charge so low, but still make so much. Because I mean, hey, if you have zero oh, regard no. for human life and you don't mind potentially going to prison, being a veneer tech seems to be a pretty profitable venture. That's a joke, uh, by the way. Please never do this to someone. I don't care how stupid the customer is. Don't enable their stupidity for profit. We this found unlicensed operators advertising their services across the USA. You want to do a moldy, right? Jay Colombo of Fairfield, New Jersey, sure looks like a dentist. Online, he calls himself the dental daddy. The dental daddy? Really? That's no way crazy. people let the TikTok dental daddy work on their teeth this is straight up darwinism remember That's the viral crazy. question of oh would you spend a night in the forest with some dude or a grizzly bear and then a shocking amount of women were like the grizzly bear i feel like this is the dental equivalent to that question would you rather Damn. have dr jones work on your teeth or the tiktok dental daddy Gee, Dental I don't know. daddy, probably. I'm comparing these two questions because let's be real. I don't think it's the guys who are lining up around the block to see the TikTok dental daddy. I want a born dentist. A dentist who is obsessed with teeth, not TikTok aesthetics. Speaking of which, I had the most boring experience at the dentist last time I was there because you're the yapping. Get back to the video, teeth, which was like toothbrush that kind of tracks where the bull ad, which I couldn't skip or interject in because I just had to sit there and listen to him because you 90 seconds and you can skip it. That's where today's sponsor and Cogni comes. TikTok dental daddy experience, whatever that is. <laughs> I'm not trying to end up like that winter girl. Jesus. From uh, we'll miss you, Sammy. I still choose the bear. Last video on the topic really? with a destroyed jaw. But don't be Sell fooled by that charm. Let me see your teeth. You have a nice one. Wearing hidden cameras, Inside Edition producers Katie Taylor and Megan Lupo met with him in this office. Damn. No, it's painted. It's dangerous. The price? You said it was six thousand dollars. It's a sale. Oh, you guys want to do this today? Uh, no, thank you. It's a sale? Dude, it's the worst salesman ever. Also, what why is it fuck? so dark in there? $6,000 though. That's more than the other lady, but still That's crazy. Less than the US average of about $20,000. We caught up with him outside his office. Are you performing illegal veneer procedures here? Are you performing illegal veneer procedures here? Excuse me, no. Why did you U-turn then? Damn. Like, dude is running like he had something to hide. I couldn't find That's the crazy. dental daddy on TikTok or Instagram, but I did find Princess Cuts, who is also who? featured on this Inside Edition video. Princess and this Cuts? one, she's just completely making a joke out of all this. POV, you're about to win the veneer tech competition and I walk in. Being a veneer tech isn't a real thing. These people are just Damn. gaslighting people who don't know better on TikTok. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Oh, yeah, they see. have all the assets and resources that we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. You should be getting your dental Damn. license instead of making these TikToks. This is just so bad. Shawty's proud, proud of having no self-aware person doing this. Having Most no of the dental others experience be working on the fact that there aren't a real dentist but she's at least very forward about it. And her prices are extremely low, scary low. As low or actually lower than the other veneer tech who ruined that woman's life. That's crazy. If you pick your dentist on a TikTok dancing video, you're in for a world of pain. And it seems like this woman That's is doing pop-up shops all around America, which might help her fly under the radar for longer, or I guess get away with it for a little bit longer. The only problem is she's so public with what she's Can doing. Can they make TikTok. enough? Eventually, uh, like it's good money, but like going to catch up. You would hope. Is it really like enough enough money to like risk going to jail and all this shit? Right. And thankfully, they are cracking down on this activity. It's just taking a sweet time. But it also seems like the government is just playing one big game of whack-a-mole with these people. As CBS News Chicago ran a story on another veneer tech, or one of the victims, Monica Bailey here went to this veneer tech without realizing she wasn't a dentist or braces. And as if that's not Her bad braces. enough, here's the massive kicker. In arrest, Davis knows all about that. 
Apparently, the veneer experts had also been operating at this Las Vegas strip mall, and Davis got picked up for illegally practicing Damn. dentistry without a Nevada dental license. You see that mugshot, and what goes through your That's mind? That's scary. I just, I couldn't believe it. Then she looked at a calendar. Court documents show Davis was released from police custody in Nevada on January 31st. It was only nine days later when Bailey says she and her daughter got braces from the unlicensed dentist. Oh my God. So in nine days, she went to her other location in Chicago and just continued business as usual. And this one's especially bad because the victim didn't know the person working on her teeth That's wasn't scary, an actual bro. dentist and was literally just arrested or serving time for this nine days prior. It doesn't get too much worse than that. But here they had a That's real scary. dentist. Look at the situation. Bailey also got bad news from Dr. Zalay. They look Hurry like back, torque. real braces, and but they they don't connect to anything in the back. And so there's no way to move the teeth meaning the braces aren't fixing anything. Thankfully, she didn't Damn. have to break out her teeth, but still, she essentially got some useless braces and were scammed out of the money thinking they were real braces. This is just a terrible trend, and I hope it ends soon, but I don't That's think we're crazy, gonna be that lucky. Bro. And I guess this is just one of those new age scams, so please be aware of who gets to work on your scam, teeth. Scam, remember, scam. you can always look up and verify licenses if there's any doubt. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I mean, yeah, I would definitely